Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we have early entry to Disney California Adventure, and we are gonna share with you the best strategy to get the most rides done in a day. So let's get going. We're about to head out over to early entry, but we noticed this is supposed to rain today, and they have a little convenient wet bags that you could take for your umbrellas. Well, we have arrived at our spot for early entry, and this is the dedicated entrance into Disney California Adventure through Pixar Place Hotel. There's a bit of a line. It's like 7.15 in the morning. I think the gates open at 7.20 to let the people start going in. Early entry begins at 7.30, so uh, we're gonna see what happens. So we just got past security. Now we have to scan our bands to get into the park, but look, people didn't make it very far. Right there is the rope drop, and it just happened. So um, we're only like a minute behind the actual rope drop. And here it is, 7.31, and we are in. Now, most of the rides that are open are actually on the other side of the park. So we are gonna have to backtrack a bit, but it does look like some of the stores are open uh, because they've got cast members at them. So that's interesting. But yeah, we're gonna walk down here. My major strategy for early entry is to do Radiator Springs Racers right when the park opens at eight. So I want to be standing in line for Radiator Springs, we're very, very close to that area, right before actual park opening, which means we have a half an hour to ride something else, at least probably just one ride, and then we're gonna go over to Radiator Springs because that ride was a 110 minute wait yesterday, and uh, if we can get it done before the, even the rope drop crowds appear, that'd be great. Right outside of Cars Land here, I'm scrolling down look at this there's already people queuing up for radiator springs racers this is all the early entry guests going down there if i spin to the left here look that's the front of the line the regular line and then there's some early entry guests coming through okay so here's the problem right with early entry guests already queuing up for radiator springs racers i have to ask myself the question do i really want to spend the next 25 minutes standing in line or do I want to go ride something fun with like no weight? So we opted for the fun, we're going to do web slingers. Then we're still going to go down there and hop in front of the line if we can, because we'll still beat the major rope drop line from the standard park guests. And this right here, this is it. There's nobody, nobody. This is the emptiest I have ever seen this pre show room. Here we go, getting ready for the ride. So the yellow is Amy, the red is me. Amy beat me again, as she usually does on this ride. Our team score is really low though. Look how many people are riding Spider-Man right now. It's only 7.50 and there's actually people walking away from the ride. So maybe these people knew something we didn't because we're newbies. I think they might have opened it early. Radiator Springs Races is not supposed to be open for early entry, but it looks like maybe it is. Yeah, there's definitely people getting off the ride. They opened it early. And somebody's excited. <laughs> he just disappeared. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's open already. Woohoo! Now, the one thing that I can't tell you is I can't tell you if this is like usual. I can't tell you that if it just opened. I can't tell you if you have enough time to ride again. I mean, maybe. Maybe it's open at 7.30 and you can just ride it like three times during early entry. I have no idea. Yeah, the, the thing is, it is not on the early entry list. It is not listed. So it might be situational. Some days it might open early, some days it might not. But right, this looks great. This looks amazing. Are you excited to practically walk on this attraction? I never get to ride it because you guys always single rider and I get left behind with Benjamin. Except for the times that we've waited like an hour. Yeah, we have done that. Far in All right, here we go. Benjamin is my riding buddy. All right. James apparently doesn't want to sit next to Amy. <laughs> he wanted a shoulder belt. He wanted what? The shoulder strap uh -oh. on the belt. We actually have a private car because there were so few people, they don't even have single riders going. So isn't that great? It's 
It's like 8.08 .08 now, and obviously the uh, standby line is quite a bit longer. A few people going through the single rider line. That's still one of my recommended ways to ride that attraction. And, or, or lightning lane, but lightning lane today is $16 per person. Individual lightning lane, you don't have to have Genie Plus, but it does cost $16 a person if you use the lightning lane for Radiator Springs Racers. And you don't get Genie Plus by buying the individual lightning lane. It is only for this ride. But if I am being completely honest with you, this line is not bad. Uh, I have seen the line much worse. That is the end of the line right there. And I have seen it go all the way down to Mater's. Today is supposed to rain and it's supposed to rain bad. I mean, like they said like three inches of rain in two days or something like that. For California, that's crazy. Uh, it's, it's a lot of rain. It's like a month's worth of rain in, in two days. And so a lot of people have canceled their reservations. Magic key holders have canceled their reservations. One day ticket holders have moved their trips. So today is like wide open and it's not supposed to rain until, I mean, one weather app says 11 a.m., one weather app says 4 p.m. Either way, uh, I mean, look at the sky right now. Uh, there's some blue peeking through, some blue up there. It, there is. So I think we're gonna have a great morning. It's a beautiful morning in Disney California Adventure. I can't really adapt that song. I can't really adapt that song. Now my first inclination would be to go to Toy Story Midway Mania. It's about 8.15 because Incredicoaster will be five for a while. However, as I'm looking down there, Toy Story Midway Mania is closed, broken, whatever. Sometimes it has a delayed opening, so that makes the decision for us. It means we're coming over here to the Incredicoaster, first and foremost. And of course, Benjamin is super excited about Incredicoaster. Now, if you didn't want to do Spider-Man Web Slingers in the morning, because I know a lot of people don't really like that ride, but that's just what James and Benjamin wanted to do. You could go to Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, uh, but I have half of my family doesn't like that ride, so that's why we didn't do it. Ooh, my favorite line's coming up. I like the Incredicoaster. Sure, slap our names on an old ride. <laughs> I've been trying to catch Violet saying that for a while, but I always miss it, or I'm too slow to pull my camera out. They said keep an eye on your little ones, so I got my eye on you. I'm watching you, Benjamin. Always watching. But you're not my little one, you're my big one. See? You're like eight inches taller than your brother. It's not that big of a difference anymore. We just got off the ride and then Credit Coaster is still pretty much has no line. Like the line is just continually moving straight to the, the cars. Which means if we really wanted to, we could go do it again. I don't think we're going to. Toy Story is still closed though. I think Goofy Sky School is closed. So I'm not sure what we're gonna go do actually. Update correction, the app has a star over Goofy's. It doesn't actually say temporarily closed when you click on the star and we just saw people on the ride. So I think we're gonna go to do Goofy's right now. Why is Toy Story always closed? Why is the rum always gone? Of course, we keep doing rides that we can't film because this is the type of ride that uh, I'm not allowed to film on. <laughs> I figured out why there's a star on the attraction in the app. The little standby wait time is broken and they've got like a electrical box open and they're working on it. So the, the sign is broken and whatever connects to the app isn't working but the ride is open and it's a walk-on it could i mean this is more of a walk-on than i normally see and i wonder if it's because of the star on the app so that's awesome these are really really tiny and cramped seats though just keep that in mind if you're coming to do goofies just had a quick look at the wait times around the park pixar pier is five minutes all around everything it's why we recommend coming to pixar pier in the morning because you can ride most of the rides here and it's just such a chill morning. People that have followed my strategy and come to Pixar Pier first say that it is so relaxing and they absolutely love it. However, today is just a low day in general. The highest wait time, of course, is Radiator Springs Racers at 60 minutes, but uh, Web Slingers and Guardians of the Galaxy are at 25 and uh, that's the, really the highest outside of, of Radiator. So definitely a chill morning here today, uh, February 4th. And now we want to come over here to Little Mermaid and of course, we're gonna do standby because we don't have Genie Plus. Five minutes. This is Benjamin's, or was Benjamin's favorite ride at DCA until he became tall enough to ride in Credit Coaster. Look, there's nobody riding with us. It's just us, all by ourselves. Let me tell you. You want the little ones? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. 
8.46 in the morning. We've officially been into the park now for an hour and 15 minutes when including early entry. Let's grocery list the rides we did. Spider-Man's, Radiator Racers, Incredicoaster, Goopy Sky School, and Little Mermaid. Five rides, hour and 15 minutes, and Soren is still a 10 minute wait. And it routinely is, even on like a not a slow day, I feel like Soren uh, 10 to 15 before nine o'clock. And we've routinely ridden Soren around this time in the morning and uh, we're gonna go do it again. Except if you come during Food and Wine Festival, in which case Soren over around the world turns back into Soren over California and it will have a long wait. Yeah, that becomes a rope drop destination in March and April. Uh, there's usually like 20 minute wait instantly, first thing in the morning. And here we are. There's a bit of a line on the outside, but it's not wrapping, so I'm not super duper concerned. We got Concourse B, which means we don't get any leaning Eiffel Towers like this. <laughs> Store all carry-on items in the undersea compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Systems check. Ready to go? Please store all carry-on items in the under seat. You ready to go? For your safety. Just after 9.15 now, I think we've got six rides done and we actually went ahead back to our hotel room before checkout because we didn't pack up anything this morning. We figured we'd just, uh, you know, go do early entry and then go back and, and pack up. And we're still gonna come back into the park, but the this is gonna be the end of this early entry strategy video. Toy Story Midway Mania has reopened or has opened finally. However, it instantly went to a 35 minute wait. It was closed when we got on Soren, open when we got off. And in that amount of time, the attraction just shot up to a 35 minute wait. So we're not gonna wait it. Um, we are just gonna go back to the hotel, which means we are gonna bring this video to a close. If you would like to see our Pixar Pier hotel review room tour, we went to the Great Maple, all that sort of stuff. Click this video to check it out. Hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to see more Disneyland content. Thanks for watching and we will see you again next time.